Hey guys and welcome. As you can see, I have ascended to the two-headed duck of my dreams and it is a glorious battle in store for us today. Maybe some good fun times. So it is David the White Lizard leading the mighty forces of Zinch and he has triple Doom Knights. Two of them are in reserve. We have one out here on the skies at the start of the battle. Big fan of Doom Knights in general. Fantastic mobility and durability at the same time. Like I said, a blue horrors down on the low ground. Looks like we have one unit of the pink horrors in the back. Two cultists of Zinch. Probably some of my least favorite cultists. And that doesn't mean they're not good. Basically, every cultist is fantastic. I do tend to bring these ones a little bit less than the others. We, interestingly enough, however, though, are coming in with Flamestorm. Maybe this cultist can prove a bit more fiery than your average trooper. We do up in the skies have the Master Fate Weaver himself, which of course is always a fantastic pick. He hasn't seen that much love since release. We see a lot of the exalted Greater Demon rather than uh, Fate Weaver himself, but he comes with some unique and useful abilities. Oracle of Eternity, Gaze of Fate is of course fantastic. He's got all of his buffs and abilities, it seems. He's coming in with Regrowth, Pendulum, as well as Harmonic Convergence and Blue Fire of Zinch. So an insane amount of magic. It'll be interesting to see how many of those spells he actually is able to get through. For the forces of Grand Cafe on the other side, looking to oppose the demons as they have done for generations at this point. It is a, a bit of a hodgepodge of troops at the moment, kind of hard to see what's going on. But it is a load of Jade Lancers, a tons of Jade Warriors, as well as some crossbow Jade Warriors in the secondary battle line. And Miao Ying shall be leading the charge, as is uh, you know, her usual way, coming in with the Talons of the Knight. So pretty cool stuff. It is a domination game here on Silver Spire. We'll have to see who is victorious. This is an incredibly close game so make sure to strap yourselves in and get ready for the part and if you enjoy this video by the end of it make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that glorious good youtube -y stuff so it seems like zinch just gonna be sitting up using the mobility to get onto the objective a little bit quicker there than grand cafe the majority of the army though is gonna be coming in just behind him a mixture of blue and pink horrors is always scary for any foe though i have noticed grand cafe can do it relatively successfully we do get a nice little cheeky pin go down on top of Miao Ying with the Gaze of Fate, allowing us to pop a couple of the blue fires at her in an attempt to do some initial burst damage. It does okay work, but nothing too crazy, to be honest. And we are missing out on that negative 40 melee attack of the Gaze. Not going to be doing too much there. The Void Pendulum does indeed go down, sapping the magic from Miao Ying's fingertips. Both the Jade Lancers have moved up on this right-hand side, looking for a sneaky flank, looking to delve into the Blue Horrors. There's not that much to stop the cavalry here, apart from the Doom Knights, and the Doom Knights seem to be a little bit busy on the other side of the battlefield, so definitely would like to see the Jade Lancers get aggressive once the battle does get fully engaged. However, it looks like the Zinch player is well aware of this threat on the right-hand flank, and gets some more Doom Knights out of the back pocket to float over here to the right to help fend them off and protect the Blue Horrors, who are now moving up on to the middle objective. Miao Ying just floating around at the moment. Looks like both players playing relatively conservative, wanting to fight on this objective rather than push back the enemy. And it seems actually like the Blue Horrors may go for a cheeky retreat. No, they are going to be standing firm for now. But a Fire Rain Rocket has been summoned by the Grand Cafe player alongside some more Jade Lancers. So we've got a little bit more mobility. Big burst damage coming in from the Hellfire Rockets. Or not the Hellfire Rockets, the Fire Rain Rockets. So just a close name there. And uh, ripping off the shields of the Blue Horrors. And that's really going to allow these Jade Warrior crossbowmen to get down and dirty and start racking up the kills. The poor little Blue Horrors manically laughing in life and manically laughing in death as they explode into pink fire. And it looks like the Jade Lancer is going to be charging straight down the gullet, perhaps, as Jade Warriors also step up to man the front line. On the right-hand side, you have the Jade Lancers getting caught out by the Doom Knights. Not going to be a good day for them because it does take away their charge. And basically, as every cavalry, you want to be the ones doing the charge rather than receiving it. And the uh, Doom Knights can have a good time in this engagement. And so Fate Weaver has landed on the second unit of Jade Lancers with the help of the Doom Knights once more, who are currently being buffed by Harmonic Convergence, and they shred the Jade Lancers very quickly. So early on, Zinch having some really nice trades, but Grand Cafe are punching back, get the Talons go down on the Pink Horrors, and though there are Furies here, many a Blue Horrors have been ripped to shreds in the front line, and it looks like the central objective has actually been claimed by Grand Cafe. Both home objectives at the moment are laid bare, neither player committing too many forces towards them. Fate Weaver does escape the wrath of Miao Ying, Gaze of Fate going down to pin her in place and allowing the Blue Horrors to really lay it on thick. We also have the Doom Knights getting in here, doing some decent damage. And of course, it's going to be some friendly fire, but with Blue Fire on top, Miao Ying has been forced back to the uh, shadows from once she came, trying to get it back and get some support once more from the Jade Warrior Crossbowmen, who have formed a nice bastion of strength in the back lines of this objective. 
Who get the double summon? Two units of pink horrors are going to be coming in. Unfortunately for them, they're basically straight in combat with Jade Lancers, which isn't the best fight for them in at all. More Jade Lancers are starting to form in, but we've got some Flamers on the battlefield for Zinch, and they will certainly be able to light up the Jade Lancers, who have proven quite a problematic unit so far for Zinch. And a beautiful Talons, Miao Ying lands, sucking in all of those units who really wanted to try to get down and dirty with her, but a Talons pops up and uh, really rips them to shreds. One unit down, two units down, and three units down, and perhaps even a fourth may be forced back their lovely cast from the crazed Dragon Lady herself. Jade Warriors and Lancers continue to push in. Pink Horrors are engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is certainly not good news for them. Doom Knights are on the return, though. They were able to finish off some of those pesky Jade Lancers. We'd like to see them apply a bit of pressure to the back line here and uh, take down those crossbowmen as at all possible. Longbar Riders are up in the skies, attempting to contest the air game. They went after Fate Weaver. There's many Doom Knights nearby, and he's not the tankiest boy in the universe, but he's still a big, fat, juicy demon, and he can hold out for those Doom Knights to arrive. Doom Knights should be enough there to beat back the Longmars, though it is uh, quite painful for both units. Seems like Grand Cafe getting a little more aggressive than Zinch, and I like this quite a bit, pushing really aggressively into the enemy battle lines, and it looks like they're having a pretty good time so far after what was some real initial nice pickups by Zinch. Peasant Longswin have managed to capture their home objective. They've got the middle objective, and it looks like no objective push yet for uh, the force of Zinch. They need to be careful. It's all good trying to uh, play and hold out for a while and really focus your forces on the middle, but if you get too far behind on the tickets, it can be a nightmare to catch up in the latter stages of the battle. Blue Horrors again rinsed now by some peasant horsemen. How the Doom Knights are on arrival. They've been led by the two headed Duckmeister, the mighty Fate Weaver, who comes slamming down a demon from the spawn of hell itself, charging in, doing some lovely damage and driving back the peasants and Jade Warriors. The Doom Knights quite happy to see them go the other direction. Pink Horrors even laugh and throw in a couple of Kobe's just to take the mick as they retreat. Fire Rain Rocket's done some pretty decent damage, been consistently firing all game. Big Fat Juicy Pendulum goes down the line on the Jade Warrior Crossbowman, doing it just under half HP, so some pretty nice damage there. Jade Warriors continuously pouring on the fire, really want to focus down the flamers where possible. They are small and squishy, they're like jellyfish, which uh, vomit fire into your face. So you want to kind of kill them before they do that, because turns out being vomited fire in your face isn't the nicest thing in the universe. Fire Rain Rocket plus some of the crossbowmen seem to be enough here to drag down the flamers doing some nice point blank foot shots though into the Jade Warriors before they go. Maybe enough to save the Blue Horrors but looks unlikely at the moment. Here's Fae Weaver coming in with a really nice uh, kind of presence in the middle of the battlefield but a beautiful use of the faction ability. They've cast many a spells. Look at that fire coming to do massive damage to this lovely power base of crossbowmen. There is going to be some celestial dragon crossbowmen trying to come in and replace them. And it looks like Niao Ying may get sniped here. This would be a disaster if she got sniped for Grand Cafe. They are in a really dominant position in this game, but losing their spell cast would allow Zinch a massive way back in because... Grand Cafe struggled to do with mass infantry on a regular basis, and she's been so good with her talents of the night to help finish off that infantry. If she goes down, it's going to be a rough second half of the battle, I would think, for Grand Cafe, where they're probably going to have to cling on to their victory. It does look like she's been going down here. Not too much uh, hope of escaping. He's trying to pull out now a little bit, but yeah, the Doom Knight and Fate Weaver get the last laugh. Her body lands on her troops, and they go flying in all directions. Not a good way to go down, and the Doom Knights will be following up that punch by jumping on top of the crossbowmen. We've got Celestial Dragon crossbowmen firing in, doing some nice damage. Unfortunately for them, they're about to receive a rather nasty pendulum all the way down the line, doing about a just over a third damage. So uh, pretty nice work indeed. We've got more crossbowmen firing, but we're certainly running out of infantry troops here for Grand Cafe, which could be uh, quite a big problem once these Blue Horrors do start to push in. Now, Objective 1 has been claimed by Zinch. The comeback is going to be on here. Looks like they are getting a bit of a comeback uh, uh, bonus. Only extra uh, five resources, though, per tick, which is very good, and certainly it will be far across the battlefield, but it isn't insane or anything. Now, the Great Longmars have been forced back. Doom Knights have been really dominant, floating all around the battlefield. Up on top of the Jade Warrior Crosswomen. I don't know if we've managed to see all three units on the battlefield at the same time, but hopefully we will in the future. Flamers do some point blank range shooting into the Jade Warrior. That's going to be enough to roast them as well as make them flee for their lives. Look how many dead bodies there are laying in the water from that one volley. Very impressive stuff. The rockets are continuing battering it down at 
the enemy infantry. Although it looks like objective two is starting to swing in favor of Zinch. We could see a juicy comeback here. So let's Dragon Crossbow it continuously firing in, really trying to drag low the mighty Fate Weaver. Staff tomorrow has been popped as well as the Oracle of Eternity, giving that resistance has been quite nice here in the middle. We do have some Celestial Dragon Guard pushing in. They're going to be quite a good counter to all the cavalry. Looks like a unit of Doom Knights has actually just met their demise fighting them. But Fate Weaver's got pretty decent mash. Is going to push, push all the way through. And the Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen have been sawn off now by Doom Knights. Looks like Forsaken got nice and aggressive. And all of a sudden, Grand Cafe looking really, really shaky. They're definitely going to lose the middle here, despite having some of the Celestial Dragon Guard here. Lovely push in the back, though. We do get double Peasant Horsemen, shine down some of those blue horrors, and a sneaky flank attack by the Crossbowmen. Going to be applying a bit of pressure, and it looks like they are starting to cap back this central objective, which is going to be really bad for Zinch if that does happen. But it seems like they've got enough troops on the line now. Cultists in here. We've got the Flamers in here. Lovely rear attack as well from the Flamers on the Special Dragon Guard. Doing some big, big burst damage. Should enable them to hold this central objective. If I'm Grand Cafe, I'm probably starting to think about pulling back and turtling on objective three where possible. I would get a load of infantry down here and then apply maybe two units crossbowmen up on the high ground to shoot down into the enemy who are hounding and harassing you. And at the same time, if you've got any Jade Lancers or Peasant Horsemen, whip them around to objective one as quickly as possible. This is at least going to force your opponent to send resources over there to deal with them or lose that objective. Flame is doing some nice work. The Dragon Guard are trying to hold their line. Like, they're raising their shields for Grand Cafe, for the Dragon Empire. But it's not going well. And the Flamers are decimating them. The poor lads. Cold of just getting in there just to mock them a little bit. And they have been broken and forced back. This unit of Flamers has done an absolute shift so far. Up to a pretty impressive 1,000 value. Still got a tiny bit of ammunition left as well. But the middle of the map is certainly dominated. Grand Cafe trying to bottleneck Zinch up here on this uh, lovely little bit of a choke point. Doom Knights have come in, though. Can be used to shut down the Jade Warrior Crossbowmen. The Doom Knights have been devastating to Grand Cafe. Shutting down range units time and time again. Range worked in the earlier mid-game. It's not working here in the late game. Most of Fate Weaver's doing a decent job as well. Hunting down at Jade Warriors. Double Blue Horrors need to be pushing around aggressively. We need all hands on deck. We need that triple cap for Zinch if they're going to get back into the game. 1,570 tickets to 3,880. Objective 3 must be taken at all costs. Now we do have a couple of horsemen trying to finish off some Forsaken. And Cafe's being pinned back in their deployment zone by this one unit. That's going to allow Zinch to spread their wings and really fly out to dominate the map. They've got nothing on their home objective though. So certainly once Grand Cafe get their backline sorted out, having some cav whip around there could be useful. Far too many units though for Zinch on this middle objective. Leave like two or three behind and get everyone pushing on to number three. It is a must have to seal victory. Blue Horrors love this. Really good micro on the Zinch player. Changing their formation to a bit more of a column so they can sneak through this gap without having to get involved with the Jade Lancers. We also have the Doom Knights just doing fantastic work all over the battlefield. And we do indeed have the dreaded triple Doom Knights on the battlefield. Their value is going to be insane at the end of this. And they lead the heroic charge downhill towards objective three. Is it going to be enough? I mean, they've definitely got the forces to win this battle by this point. Do they have enough time to claim it? Mass reinforcements are on arrival for the forces of Grand Cafe. They were able to finish off that Forsaken unit with a load of Jade Warriors. We have crossbowmen in here, plus some horse units. I'd like to see just one beat up unit of Jade Lancers float all the way around and apply pressure to this point. I've never seen it multiple times, but it would really help out massively and stop all, you know, more reinforcements being poured on towards Objective 3, giving Grand Cafe a better chance to hold it. Currently, though, there's just one unit of Peasant Longspearmen here dreading the fight. But hey, we are the men and women of Grand Cafe. Whatever comes through that choke point, we will stand our ground. And in comes the Doom Knights. Are they going to swoop in and down? Looks like they are diverting their attention for now to try to fend off some of the Jade Lancers. They're doing a decent job hunting down the enemy back line. We even have some peasant horsemen being used in the rear by the Grand Cafe player to float over. It looks like we have some Jade Lancers again in the back here, forgotten. Blow up to objective one. It'd be so clutch. But alas, they are going to instead uh, be kind of idly, you know, twiddling their thumbs and worrying about life's many problems. Now, the Peasant Longsman have pushed in. Double Jade Warriors have just arrived. And it looks like this objective is still being held by Grand Cafe. Big Fat Pendulum's going to attempt to stop that, though. Massive damage. Over half HP from one cast. 67 kills on Fate Weaver. He's done a lot of HP work. And it looks like the Jade Warrior Crossman have been sent packing. We have some Lancers trying to force their way through the forest. Double Crossman are applying a bit of long-range pressure. But long-range pressure is not going to help you out if you still lose the objective. 
and it looks like uh, that may well be the case. The last bastion of strength here is this two units of Jade Warriors, and one of which has is currently terrified. That was about to be rear charged by some Doom Knights. We did have some Jade Lancers attempt to float over. The objective is starting to be capped. 4,700 tickets, but it may not yet be enough. More Lancers are starting to pour in. Is it going to be? I mean, it looks all good to me for Zinch here, realistically. Doom Knights floating down. Decapitating Jade Warriors, manically laughing and having a great day all round. Blue Horrors can apply, of course, a bucket ton of long-range pressure. And Objective 3 has fallen. 3,440 uh, tickets to 4,820. That 4,820 isn't going to be moving anywhere anytime soon, however. And it looks like it's really problematic for Grand Cafe now. Jade Royal Crossman are being shut down and forced back. We get one unit of Great Long Mars being summoned. We do finally now have, this is what I wanted to see from the start, Peasant Horsemen looking to apply pressure to Objective 1 and float round there. We'll have to see if they can make it in time. It's certainly going to be a tight race. Doom Knights are just flowing through the Tweeds, darting between them, zipping it back and forth, hunting down any range that they can get their hands on. 210 kills on this unit. The other Doom Knights in the back, 98, I believe that was. Uh, let's see, oh no, 164. My god, yeah. Doom Knight's MVPs for sure. All three of them over 100 kills and still fighting towards the end of the battle. Load of cavalry has been just ramrodded onto the objective. The Grand Cafe player really struggling and just desperately trying to get any unit onto a point as quickly as possible. But it is not going to be enough. He's really not going to be able to claim this objective whatsoever. We do have the Peasant Horseman doing a dart, dare and dart to the back here. But with a coldest on arrival plus a double Forsaken, that is going to be game over. There is no way for Grand Cafe to wrestle one of these objectives back. But well, what a game. That was insanely close stuff. Very well played to David the White Lizard. A massive shout out to him for sending this one in. A glorious Zinch comeback, which the early game, there were some nice pickups by Zinch. And then the kind of to the latter earlier stages to the mid part of the game, Grand Cafe dominated. They came in hard. And there was one massive turning point, which I think is the main reason Grand Cafe lost this. Miao Ying getting sniped. She was the anti-infantry option they possessed. She died. Zinch come in and flood the objectives of infantry. What are you going to do? Apparently not enough. But well played nonetheless. And the Doom Knights, 229 kills, 2.8k value on the first unit. 3.2k value on the second unit of 186 kills. 1.6k value on the third unit and 133. So really fantastic work by all the Doom Knights across there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Both things are a massive boon to the channel and is basically what keeps me making the glorious content. Feel free to comment down below as well if you enjoyed the battle or you know what you'd like to see in the future and so on and so on. And a load of links in the description to Twitch, Patreon and Discord. There may be a stream later today. I am uh, might be streaming on Logic's Twitch channel, a bit of a Lego Lord of the Rings stream. Then I may do a Dune stream here later today. If not, I'll try and fit one in tomorrow. Or latest Sunday. I'm unfortunately busy all Saturday. That's going to be kind of my schedule. At least for the next coming days. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really am enjoying the extra large army size. On Domination. It really does add something to the battles. Particularly in the early stages. And you have this continuous large scrap going on. For the majority of the fight. Until next time guys. Peace peace. And as always. Stay awesome.